The ongoing pandemic is adversely impacting the global economy with unemployment, business disruption, and significant contraction of global GDP growth. Several organizations are laying off or implementing pay cuts in salaries amid the probable economic downturn that may experts foresee. The data science job market has also seen fewer layoffs, salary cuts, and furloughs compared to the other tech job roles. Looking at the laid off stuff, it can be seen that it is focused on IT roles and positions which can be fairly replaced with automation tools. Data science roles, on the other hand, are incredibly challenging to automate at this point in time, which may be one of the reasons job cuts in data science is minimal compared to the redundant roles in the workforce. According to sources, the job volatility in data science has been on the lower side compared to the traditional jobs that have been disrupted due to the supply chain issues. Jobs such as teachers, manufacturing, and hospitality have been witnessing the highest volatility in the ongoing crisis. On the other hand, software and IT jobs have been found to have mid-level of volatility compared to the traditional jobs. However, different sectors have different conditions, including types of businesses, geographies, supply and demand for human resources, and other such. So the impact is going to be different in each case, be it the IT sector or FMCG, industrials or domestic banking. And if we look at how Indian IT industries have performed in the last five years, the tech sector is expected to stay strong, bearing some overvalued startups and legacy IT companies. So what makes data science jobs safer during the recession? Analytics is going to be very crucial at the times of recession for optimizing cost and reducing wastage of resources. According to some sources, 2020 could see rising in demand in AI jobs, given AI applications are being deployed extensively by healthcare providers, educational institutions, and government agencies. Here, data scientists would play a critical role in getting the best of automated systems that throw out the chunks of data. The findings from one of our surveys reveal that the entire analytics community is able to work from home. Moreover, while analytics professionals are working from home, they they have access to the required tools and platforms to execute their tasks and responsibilities. Most of the respondents have either experienced no impact on their work or have experienced a positive effect on their job because of their higher productivity. The broad data science domain makes working from home possible under certain conditions, including the type of projects, variety of functions, access to tools, employee engagement, and overall connectivity as well as collaboration with the rest of the team. Data-related jobs can be done with ease over the web and from home. With its growing importance in the tech sector, it has seen minimal volatility despite the slowdown. However, data scientists could also lose their jobs, particularly in more vulnerable sectors such as travel and tourism, logistics and even retail. 2019 was a great year for the data science job market and the trend is likely to continue despite the global pandemic. In fact, given everything is being virtualized and platformized in some industries, we are witnessing the advent of more data and more extensive data workloads. This will fuel the demand for data scientists in such fields. And if firms do lay off their analytics and data science teams, it would be even a bigger challenge to rebuild those teams. After all, getting an efficient data science team takes years to build and it would be a waste of millions of dollars to let off such valuable stuff. To know more about data science and machine learning, visit www.analyticsindiamag.com.